Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders and our biceps. Straight away I'm going to start with our regular part of dynamic stretching, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side to unlock the body's mobility. Make sure you get these five repetitions each side without fail even if you're doing some kind of cardio for five minutes it's absolutely fine please do add this to your schedule if you don't prefer to do this particular stretch and you like something else which is dynamic in nature go ahead do that it's absolutely fine but dedicate those couple of minutes every day pre-workout for dynamic stretching to ensure that you're unlocking your body's mobility to a greater extent because you must be sedentary throughout the day and suddenly starting to work out is not completely ideal so i always recommend dynamic stretching before the workout post that i started doing my deep squat mandatory deep squat for the day sit in a deep squat for a few seconds at least slowly and steadily lower yourself and sit there feel the stretch happening in your calf muscles your inner thighs your glutes getting engaged to make sure your posture remains straight and once done we can begin with our exercises so let's begin first exercise we are going to do is a superset of red delt wherein we do with the dumbbells and also with the barbells we have done this previously also pretty simple exercise to do with dumbbells you put yourself on an inclined bench take a weight which is challenging enough tuck your chin in and start pushing the dumbbells towards the ceiling and start feeling the contractions in your red delt your palms should be facing towards the ceiling sometimes it's also called as a pronated ray delt raises because your hand is in a pronated way or intern your shoulder is in a internal rotation while doing this particular ray delt contraction as i mentioned go heavy as heavy as possible and get try to get at least 20 repetitions from each set after completing the incline bench setup we immediately without any break move on to the bubble setup as i'm doing here i just move the camera i already had my bubble ready now here with the barbell again you need not go extremely heavy just go challenging enough we are again trying to get 20 repetitions simply take the barbell behind your body pronator grip palms facing up towards the ceiling slightly bend forward and start pushing the barbell behind your back like i am doing here try to get as many clean reps as possible as you progress as you try to get into the second and third set you start failing you start failing around maybe 10th rep 12th rep and that's absolutely fine keep trying to get those 20 repetitions and it's an excellent way to work on our posterior chain especially our red delts which are often the most underworked muscle but in my program i usually include them a lot more because the muscles which you don't see are supposed to be worked a lot more post completing that i moved on to cable lateral races now here i grab the cables cross arm basically the left side with my right arm the right side with my left arm and started doing them from behind my back i like i prefer doing it this way because firstly if it is in front of me i have to stand way behind and i always feel obstructed behind my back i feel a little bit more freeness and also the pull is different so i prefer doing it this way so i suggest you also try this now simple exercise just load similar weight on both the sides and slowly start doing the cable lateral races the point here or the main point here is to focus on the speed don't go fast don't use the momentum go as slow as possible as you can see i'm taking at least one to two seconds while i'm coming down making sure the tension is always there the bar or the weight never rest it is always pulling my shoulder and even while coming up i go slow i don't try to be explosive and pull it with all my strength because that will shift the load onto my traps so i focus the entire load on my delts especially my lateral delts you might feel a little bit of sensation in your red delts also because previously we have worked them so much in the first set but otherwise it will be perfectly your lateral delts post completing that i moved on to a simple front raise with a barbell i always start with my elbows at 90 degree angle and try to raise the barbell as high up as possible always cross your eye level take it above your head to feel the maximum amount of contraction in your front delt uh, one of the easier ways to do is with barbell but if you any reason don't prefer to do it with a barbell because you feel your wrists are restricted or feel uncomfortable you can also do it with the dumbbells 
just make sure that your elbows are just about like 90 degrees they're not completely straight they're a little bit bent so that your biceps are a little slightly activated and from there continue doing that now i've done a 15 plus pause repetition set two sets of these with 60 seconds break in between basically have done 15 repetitions took two to three seconds break in between did another five another five so in each set in that manner i have accumulated almost 35 repetitions so try doing that so 15 repetitions in one go 20 repetitions in five five repetition intervals you might feel a little bit of tiredness exhaustion so make sure you choose a weight which you ideally fail at 15th repetition so taking a break and getting those extra five repetitions makes you do the large amount of work and it's quite challenging make sure it is and once done with our front raises move, move on to overhead press again keeping your arms in a pronated manner slightly turning them away from your face and then pushing up the dumbbell you need not push it completely high up you can rest on an inclined bench like i am doing here because we don't want our triceps doing most of the work we want all the load to be focused on our front delts i've done three sets of these simple 15 repetitions each set go slow the uh, cue is to go slow don't push the weight aggressively don't use the momentum don't just drop with the weight go as slow as possible control the eccentric motion as much as possible to feel the burn post completing those i moved on to my bicep bit of exercising wherein i started off the usual high cable curls three sets 20 repetitions each arm without any break while switching from one arm to the other in between the sets i felt taking a 30 second break at least gives me a lot more energy to go more in terms of getting the repetitions in one go uh, when i tried it without any breaks in between i tend to fail in my third set very quickly so i focused more on taking a break of 30 seconds at least in between each set that is completing both the arms 20 repetitions setup is pretty simple you just have to set up the cable high and position yourself away from the cable look away from the cable your shoulders are in open position grab the handle and start doing the curls high up make sure your body is facing away your chest your shoulders are away from your bicep so that your long head is more engaged we get 20 repetitions each hand switch immediately without any break and continue yes this might take a little bit of time on the machine you might occupy the particular cable side for quite some time but will be done pretty quickly if you're not doing it without any break or if you keep the break short like i did only for 30 seconds after completing this particular exercise i took a good minute or two break and moved on to another superset wherein i started doing pronated grip barbell curls with preacher curls with a barbell so as you can see i started to do 20 repetitions of reverse grip barbell curls making sure i go through the entire range of motion as neatly as possible losing using least amount of momentum i'm not swinging so much i'm not using extreme amount of high weight i'm trying to focus on my forearms and my biceps doing the most amount of work and after completing my 20 reps i immediately sit down on the preacher bench i set myself in that manner and start doing preacher curls as many repetitions as possible hitting the failure and you would tend to hit failure in your first set right about 10 to 15 repetitions but post that you might also hit failure at 5 or 10 repetition and that's absolutely fine our focus is to get the first 20 repetitions and then go as many repetitions as possible in the second and third set take ample amount of rest at least 60 to 20 or uh, 60 to 120 seconds if required because you will be hitting fatigue very quickly thanks to all the shoulder and bicep work we have been doing till now after this particular exercise i moved on to one of my favorites this is basically an inclined bench preacher curl again training our muscle in a stretch in a stretch position i often think and it's also scientifically proven that training your muscle in a stretch position gives you a lot more growth so put your muscle in a so basically we are stretching our bicep all the way using the preacher's setup on an inclined bench and with one single dumbbell switching from one arm to the other 20 repetitions each arm now since this is one of the last exercises which we are going to do I was taking a break in between 
If you don't feel enough fatigue, you need not take a break while switching from one arm to the other in between these sets. You can just continue going 20, 20, 20 repetitions and overload on volume. But otherwise, you can take a break after every set, after completing 20 repetitions each hand, take a 60 second or a 30 second break and then go again. It's a very simple exercise. Just place your bench at a 60 degree angle, place your hand, move your body again away from your bicep and start curling a dumbbell which is challenging enough for you to get 20 repetitions. It should start challenging you right about 18 or 19th repetition and it should be hard to get the reps clean as you can see as I'm performing. After that, we move on to our vertical hand and the static stretching. Simply hang as long as possible to decompress our shoulders, to work on our forearm muscles. A perfect way to complete our workout. Make sure you're not using any kind of straps while doing this particular exercise. You may use gloves if you have calluses and they're hurting. Try not to swing. If you tend to swing a lot, you can always place a barbell behind your back to control your momentum or ask your partner or someone in the gym to just control your swing a little bit till the time you get a hang of it and then hang as long as possible. After that, I moved on to my static stretching, simple bicep static stretching. Hold on to a bar or a bench at a high position and turn your body away. Basically, putting our bicep again in a stretched position like we have done in the high cable curls and turn your body away. The shoulder joint and the elbow joint remains straight. Your shoulder joint is moving away. So that's stretching your bicep muscle and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds each hand. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate a subscribe. If you have any feedback, please do drop in comments. I will be more than happy to respond to them or incorporate something which you would want me to incorporate in. I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Have a good day and have a great workout.